Inside this Lincoln Park store, there's salvage chandeliers and doors, facades, and more for sale. The idea is to reuse them for some other projects. And more than Insider Lawn Victory shows us how the materials that are given new life are also used to create new careers. Somewhere between the piles of wood and heaps of scrap, you'll find the math and science needed for Ann Nicklin's newest workforce development program at the Rebuilding Exchange. Construction math, construction drawings, rigging. So this is really about focused, intentional, uh, intentional learning, intentional curriculum that can prepare people for applying to the building trades and to apprenticeship programs. Take it off and put it on your blade. It's called a pre-apprenticeship, and this is the fourth class of pre-apprentices so far this year. Daniel Santiago hopes the training will put him on a path to a stable, good-paying job as a union electrician. A lot of the unions do require you to have experience to like get in easily. The state-funded curriculum includes live demos and hands-on experiments, as well as visits to work sites featuring different trades. We learn about every union, not just one specific one, to sort of like broaden your opportunities. The trainees hope a certification and a good recommendation will get the sparks flying during future interviews to become a union apprentice. So instead of folks going to their brother, their cousin, somebody that they know, their kid's best friend, they're talking to their community organizations, folks like us, and saying, who have you got? The doorway to a union career is about to open a little wider. The state recently opened up applications for a second round of funding for pre-apprenticeship programs starting in 2023. We want to increase the representation of veterans. You know, uh, Asian Americans, Hispanic Americans need a little bit more representation in our system. Norman Ruano is from Illinois Works, the state office that's ready to dole out the next 15 million in pre-apprenticeship grants. He explains priority will go to organizations that can help people from communities that have historically struggled to join unions. If their math skills are not there, their reading skills are not there, their interviewing skills are not there, those are going to be real barriers. Rebuilding Exchange hopes to continue being part of the solution. More than half of the 2023 funding up for grabs is for existing pre-apprenticeship programs. Lauren Victory, CBS2 News. Pre-apprentices get a daily stipend to help out with rent, food, and transportation costs. 23 organizations are currently offering the free training through state grants. Applications for the second round of funding closes on September 27th.